Hey, what's up guys? All right, so I'm gonna show you a tactic for cleaning as a daily household chore. This technique will help you to build your Kung Fu. So, how often when you do chores are you focusing on breathing? Sure, not very often. You're trying to get the chore done and get on with your day. But little do you know that every chore you do is an opportunity to train your Kung Fu. So this is the first one. I'm gonna start a whole series of exercises and activities for you to do that are found in a common household that you're able to actually put some technique into and train your Kung Fu. So, number one, let's start with wiping something. So I have here some napkins, and let's say I'm gonna go ahead and try and wipe this floor. All right, first thing you can do you probably watched Karate Kid back in the day, all right? And he would, uh, Mr. Miyagi would make his student wax on and wax off, all right? So turning it counterclockwise and then clockwise. <sighs> Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth, right? But don't get stuck on one particular style of breathing you should try and mix it up as well. So this will also train your breathing to make sure that it does not come to a complete stop. And it'll teach your breathing to become natural and just to continue to go depending on uh, whatever movement you're doing. So here's a principle I want you to remember. Breathing should be consistent and it should be sufficient for each type of movement that you're doing. So to break that down, what that means is if I'm doing this much effort, then I need to be breathing adequately to get the job done. Otherwise, my body's gonna have trouble producing enough energy to do so, and it'll start burning up what I have stored inside rather than just using oxygen to uh, produce new energy and get the job done. So. A lot of us, we burn ourselves out, we're too tired, we feel lazy, we have negative thoughts, and a lot of this happens because we're not getting enough energy, all right? So you can actually do these exercises to help you to build energy, all right? Now, once you feel like you're coordinated or you're ready to coordinate yourself, you can go both hands. So you go, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right? And then inhale, opposite way, exhale, all right? Sorry, the napkin's getting messed up. It's already getting pretty dirty. So anyway, if you get the idea, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And always try to remember breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And one last time, breathe enough for you to get the job done. So the principle of sufficiency tells us that the amount of effort that is needed, you should have a proper amount of oxygen intake in order to get the job done. And at this very same time, in order to leave room to breathe in to have more oxygen, you also need to breathe out fully so that you leave space for fresh new oxygen to come in. All right? So I hope this helps. So you can start out your Kung Fu training, your daily Kung Fu training, right here with cleaning a floor, cleaning a table, practicing your wax on, wax off methods, all right? Hope this helps, and don't forget to like this video, and let me know if you have any questions. We're gonna have plenty more coming out, so stay tuned. All right, thanks guys.